So what is it actually like to live in Plano, Texas? Maybe you're doing some research, you check some things out, it's all about features and benefits, but what's lifestyle like in Plano, Texas? Well, let me start with this. It's pretty great, it really is. Um, for years and years and years, I mean, most of the 90s and, and 2000s, Plano was the hot suburb in all of America. It won every magazine award, it was on every list, normally number one, you know, never lower than number five or so for a long, long, long time, and still quite often ranks uh, in those lists. Now, the only real difference is it's it's somewhat mature, meaning that it's kind of built out for the most part. Uh, it's landlocked by other cities, all awesome, by the way. But an interesting thought here is that Plano's got about 300,000 people. So in a, in a massive metropolitan area like Dallas-Fort Worth, where we are, which altogether is like the third largest metropolitan area in America, maybe maybe number two. Um, Plano can sort of be treated as just another suburb, right? A, a favorable one, a highly regarded one, but another suburb where in almost any other state in the United States, it would be the largest or one of the top two or three largest cities in the entire state. Here in Texas, it just so happens to be part of a massive metropolitan area in Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington, Frisco. So Plano's great. It is a it is a uh, family-oriented community. Certainly plenty of opportunity for singles as well. There's a cool kind of difference in the east side and the west side, and we'll get to that a little bit more in the video, but um, you've got some areas where you have thousands of single-story ranch-style homes. You've got some areas where you have some gorgeous, luxury, private, custom, what a lot of people would call mansions, estates, you know, really beautiful homes on properties. And then you've also got lots of apartments, condos, townhomes, patio homes, zero lot. Plano really does offer it all. Just about the only thing Plano is not offering much of anymore is, you know, quiet, rural, uh, distant living. A lot, if not almost all of that land has been developed or been kind of closed in on by growth. Um, there are still some chunks of land, uh, not a lot left, but that's about the only thing that you might say, you know, honestly, that Plano's not really offering anymore. There are parts of Plano that have had to deal with the fact that they're not the new suburb anymore. They've been there for a while. And because of that, there's been some redevelopment of roads and signage and things like that. But generally speaking, living in Plano offers just about anything you could want, entertainment, concert venues, uh, sports, um, incredible family-oriented community with uh, one of the best local sports, youth sports associations in America with multiple really impressive facilities. There's baseball, soccer, football, track, trails everywhere in Plano. There's great restaurants. Uh, you've got access to healthcare. You're very, very close distance to airports and things like that. But as far as just the general feel and lifestyle of Plano, um, it is a hospitable place to live. There's just a kindness to the community, a welcoming sense to the community, um, a slightly different approach to education in that the schools are broken into multiple campuses. So you'll see sometimes there will be a ninth grade campus. There might be a 10th or 10th and 11th grade campus, an 11th and 12th or 12th grade campus. So at the junior high and high school level, compared to other parts of the area and other parts of the country, they're approaching school campuses a little differently. And because of that, as the community has grown, they've been able to keep number of students in one building a little bit lower by splitting up um, those grades and, and how they approach school. Um, there's a decent arts community in Plano. And then obviously you're very close to Dallas and Fort Worth where there's you know big, really impressive arts and museum, uh, theater, music, all those kinds of things. Um, the west side of Plano is where more, not all, but more of the new flashy commercial development exists. You've got Frito-Lay, Pepsi, Toyota, all kind of home based over there with their corporate headquarters. And because of that, you've seen billions of dollars of retail, restaurant, wineries, microbreweries, bars, um, corporate campuses, outdoor malls, indoor malls, uh, you know, a, a, a a, you know, massively growing entertainment region of the city, but also of the whole region of North Texas. Um, so you've got West Plano bordered by Frisco, a little bit by Allen, 
Um, and then to the West, you've got several communities where some massive big box uh, retail development with with companies like Nebraska Furniture Mart or Shields, Ikea, and those kind of things are going on. So between you know Frisco, Plano, Allen, um, Far North Dallas, Richardson, and the communities that surround it, if Plano doesn't have it, which is not much, it's very nearby. And so it, it's actually somewhat difficult in most areas to tell right where Plano starts and stops because the communities around it are fairly similar. And in most ways, that's a really good thing because uh, you have a similar feel. You don't feel like you're crossing over from the good side to the bad side or from the old part to the new part. It's a gradual consistency in the area uh, that people really, really, really enjoy. People move to Plano and stay. You don't hear a lot. You don't have a sense that there's any sort of momentum to leave Plano. Obviously, individuals and families move for reasons, but there's no sense that Plano's lost its luster and people no longer want to be there. There's very much still a huge drive to get to and live in Plano. Um, the jobs are there. Uh, we talked about major employers, and there are more coming all the time. In Plano, and again, right around. Um, it's a, uh, it's a safe place to live. Generally speaking, there's all sorts of statistics and data all over the internet that folks can check out. Um, but generally thought of as a well-policed, well-run city with great city services, relatively affordable city services. Um, you know, again, with healthcare, emergency services, fire, police, all those things, they take good care of their roads. Uh, there are of course areas that people, uh, are frustrated about like any city that's been around for a while, but generally speaking, those get taken care of relatively quickly. On the east side, a little bit older, a little bit more historic, you'll see some kind of Victorian style um, homes with big wraparound porches and things like that, as well as an older cobblestone downtown area that has been revitalized, but with respect to the original look, feel, and energy of uh, sort of a small town Hallmark Channel feel of you know, a couple of blocks of single story, a couple of blocks of multi-story uh, retail with some residential above options with some really cool um, nightlife, fun, uh, outdoor music and, and um, festival venue type look and feel to things. Um, some older charm with some history to it, but also some new uh, energetic uh, retail opportunities and entertainment opportunities with a really, really great park um, near all the, the main city buildings in that original downtown area. Um, you've got really just about anything you could look for in the Plano area. You've got homes on land. You've got zero lot. You've got brand new contemporary style. You've got older traditional style. You've got single story ranch style homes. You've got two and three story beautiful estate properties. As far as jobs, they're there in every kind. You've got retail. You've got corporate. Um, you've got some airline opportunities, some banking opportunities, some technology opportunities. It's really the full gamut with 300,000 plus people in a relatively large suburb, but certainly self-sufficient standalone city of its own. So if you're thinking about Plano, reach out to us. We'd love to show you property, get you data, help you understand what's in and around Plano, what your other alternatives and choices are for comparison. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home in the area, that's what we do. We'd be thrilled to help you. If you're looking for more information on Plano, check out the rest of our channel. We've got lots of videos on moving to Plano from outside of the area, from inside the area, jobs, healthcare, entertainment, education, all sorts of really cool stuff. Check that out. Comment below. We read them all. We'll talk to you on the next video.